Most of the talk out there has been around disappointment in global markets over China stimulus or lack thereof. Weakness in Chinese equities have rippled over into the rest of the market, even playing a role in dampening the spirits of record high U.S. equities. Also getting attention into Wednesday are some weaker Fed surveys suggesting the strong U.S. jobs report may have been an outlier, which could invite renewed downside pressure on the U.S. dollar if confirmed. Earlier today, New Zealand inflation data came in softer than expected, which resulted in more downside pressure on the New Zealand dollar. The data increases odds for another 50 basis point rate cut from the RBNZ, with even a 75 basis point cut now being considered. We've also seen weakness in the Canadian dollar from its own softer inflation data, which has been putting the Bank of Canada in position to slash rates by 50 basis points as well. The downside pressure on oil has not been a help to the loonie either. Key standouts on Wednesday's calendar come from UK inflation data, an ECB Lagarde speech, Canada housing starts and manufacturing sales, and US import and export prices. That's all for now.